To be perfectly honest, we were really quite um, active in the church. We were converts, Mike and I, at the age of 25. Missionaries knocked on our door when we were married but didn't have any children. And um, he actually was the one who was pretty excited about the church. We had a real heart for the church. We believed in the church. We attended church every week. We went on temple trips. Um, we fulfilled callings. We bore testimony of Christ. We read our scriptures. We obeyed the prophet, those kind of things. When I look back, I can see that probably from the time we came to Utah, the dam was starting to crack. And I can't tell you how many times I have thanked my Savior for the opportunity to come straight to the heart of Mormonism. I feel like this journey into Mormonism wasn't a fluke, but possibly planned by God Himself for the very purpose of learning to love Mormons, understand Mormons, because I was one most of my life. For that reason, I can't walk away and, and know the things I know and have this new life and not want you to know also the truth. So I would say if you hear something in Mormonism that sounds a little off, entertain it. Go trace it down, research it, find out what other people have said. Do not shut the door. Do not put up a wall because what if you're wrong? What if what you've believed all your life isn't the real Christ? It does have eternal consequences. That truth is everything. Christ said he came to testify of truth. Truth is everything and every day I pray to discern so that I can sort truth from error because I know now how serious error can take you down the wrong path because of love that we tell Mormons the truth. We want Mormon folks to have an opportunity to come to Christ. We want all people to have an opportunity to come to Christ.